It's very important that you do not overpay for properties. Tina and Tim, this is your show. Let's dive in. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Hey folks, welcome to another episode of the MLS Search and Analysis Show here on Holton Wise TV. I'm your host, James Wise. Right now, I'm coming to you guys from my home office. Just had another kid with my wife, uh, so spending some time working out of the home, which that's what's great about real estate investing, folks. We could invest uh, from any physical location we need to, right? Holton Wise has the ground team uh, of you know people, technicians, workers, contractors, et cetera, leasing agents. We have the on the ground resources to allow you guys to uh, you know work from home. Your home could be here in Cleveland. It could also uh, be out of state, which is what Tina and Tim are dealing with, right? And you guys um, found this property and you guys actually kind of worked out uh, a deal in principle uh, with the seller's uh, real estate agent. But of course, you wanted to bring me in, right? You're doing your due diligence. You know, everything seems okay to you guys, but you made the smart decision to have me come in and analyze it for you. And then if I give the green light, you're going to have me go ahead and write up the actual contract, move forward with the sale, will represent your interest. So let's talk about this deal. Let's talk about where you're at. <clears throat> 3108 Daisy Avenue, Cleveland, 44. 109. This is a big old classic duplex. And uh, as far as the property goes, you know, it looks pretty decent to me. No issues here, right? I like the floor that we have here in the kitchen. We seem to have some neutral decor uh, throughout. The tenants have, you know, just a ton of furniture. What I see with, uh, you know, all this furniture and the clutter here, some people see that as a bad sign. Typically, it's actually uh, a good sign because it shows that your tenants uh, are not going anywhere. Now, that's typical. Now, that's actually not the case in this, this transaction, uh, which we'll get into momentarily. But just in regards to what I see, what I would normally see, everything looks okay. Like one minor thing that bugs me uh, is a little bit of lack of craftsmanship that we see like in the transition from the dining room to the kitchen. As you see here, I, I circled it for you. Like you see that right there, that big red circle there, there, there should be like a transition strip, right? And the edges are all messed up and uh, you know, that's going to lead to these getting kicked up. So, you know, there's going to be uh, some type of work, but you know, all told like it's nothing major uh, as far as that carpet goes, there's so much furniture at the next turnover. Uh, I'm sure you'll probably see some things where like the carpet is darker uh, everywhere other than where all this furniture is. So there's going to be uh, some turnover rehab, definitely. But all told, it's a it's a pretty solid home. Uh, and you can get a ton of rent out of these, right? The market rent for this particular property would be $750 a month per unit. So $1,500 a month or $18,000 a year. Now, if you took those numbers and you broke it down to what this would look like in the long term, 15 would go in and we would assume an average of 772 would go out, right? And that's for your variable and your non-variable expenses, right? So some expenses you're going to have all the time, right? You're always going to have a property management fee. You're always going to have to cut the grass. You're always going to have to pay insurance. You're always going to have to pay taxes, but then we have some variable stuff, right? Like your repairs and your maintenance. We're going to have to do turnover repairs in between tenants, vacancy and non-payment of rent. People don't always pay their rent. This is a D-class neighborhood, uh, but I like this D-class neighborhood because it's in the Metro Health uh, area, right? What, what's happening is Metro Health, they're investing a billion dollars into the area, and I fully anticipate uh, some improvement in this area, right? You inject that much money into the surrounding area, uh, things should go well. And this home is like literally walking distance from there, right? And then CapEx, right? We saw that the electrical was upgraded and we saw some hot water tanks in there. Uh, but I wouldn't assume <clears throat> that everything is new, right? So like the roof, you know, this roof's going to last about 30 years. 
Uh, it's probably not new. It's probably in the later end of its life cycle. And it's probably like a seven, $8,000 roof. Furnaces are about 30, uh, 30 years of life expectancy. They cost about 3000 to replace. I'm sure they're probably mid to end of life, right? Those hot water tanks look like they were about mid to life. Hot water tanks cost about a thousand, right? So uh, when we run our numbers, what we want to do is calculate for that on a monthly basis where you just save that, right? You're saving $75 every single month, knowing you're going to have those big costs, right? So with all that said, I do like the neighborhood. <clears throat> I do like the property, uh, but I do not under any circumstances like the deal that you guys have structured uh, with this particular seller. What you've told me thus far uh, and what I could see on the MLS, right? They've listed it at $99,000. So you've talked to the seller's agent, a uh, cat out of Realty Express, and uh, you've kind of lightly negotiated what price you want to pay and you guys are talking about paying ninety five thousand dollars and then on top of that those tenants uh the sellers had to give both of them eviction notices so you guys came to me with all this already in play right so hey we were thinking about paying 95 uh, and we want to make a contingent on those two tenants that this particular seller is uh currently trying to evict remember earlier i said all the stuff in the property is usually actually a good sign. The clutter means folks are trying to stay. Uh, but that's not the case here, right? Apparently they maybe, you know, they lost their job or this or that, but these folks can't pay. Uh, so the seller's trying to get them out. Now, the numbers, you know, from an ROI standpoint, you could be making, you know, approximately $8,000 a year renting this thing at the seven fifty. But remember, it's going to come empty. So there's going to have to be some turnover work, right? We saw the poor craftsmanship with the floor. Uh, you know, and all the furniture, all the carpet, I would anticipate you guys probably spending, you know, in the range of like five to $7,000 uh, on each of the units, uh, just totally cleaning them out, sprucing them up, uh, maybe upgrading some of the kitchen counters uh, to go ahead and make it <clears throat> more appealing, right? Because we had the newer floor in the kitchens with the counters and stuff, they were still uh, outdated, right? So you're looking you know, on the horizon of anywhere between like ten and fourteen, fifteen thousand dollars of renovation work, right? Um, paying ninety five just wouldn't make any sense, guys. I mean, it, it, there's just no way. There's just simply better deals out there. Ninety five is too much for this particular property, right? Uh, with the 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 fact that you got to do five to fifteen thousand dollars worth of work, uh, and you'd be taking it vacant, you know can't pay 95 you would just be well overpaying right it's not that it's a bad property it's not that i don't believe in it it's just we could simply find you uh lower price deals right so with that all that in mind i, I would think to make uh sense out of this deal you'd have to pick this particular property up for like 65 to seventy thousand dollars. are you a lender if so Holton Wise is looking to partner with you. If you're licensed in all 50 states, go to HoltonWise.com. Click the digital media tab to advertise on Holton Wise TV today. Now, if you could pick it up empty between 65 and $70,000, absolutely do the deal. That's a solid deal. We'll put in that money. We'll get those tenants paying the 1500 uh, and, you know, move it forward, right? But... I don't know if that's practical, right? You guys are, you know, talking to the seller at a price point that's, you know, freaking $35,000, $40,000 more than that, right? So it doesn't sound like this is a deal that's going to come together. I'm thinking that you and the seller uh, are going to be too far apart, right? So my advice to you guys, we could try it at sixty-five dollars to seventy dollars but I do not want you to pay any more than that. So it's very likely this deal won't come together. So what we can do here going forward, you guys bought a multi-pack from us. Uh, you know, if this is the kind of property you're looking for, I have this information and we can go out and we could find you a, a couple properties similar to this uh, at better price points and we can put the deals together if this one ultimately doesn't come through, which I'm guessing it wouldn't, right? So that's my advice, right? If we can't pick it up at that price, let's pass on this, move on to some others, uh, have me and my team go out, try to find the property for you. We'll get you something similar to this, but at a much lower price point, right? Because no matter how cool the property is, 
you can't overpay, right? You don't want to be the guy that overpays $25,000, $40,000 for a property, right? That just don't make no damn sense. Even though the cash flow numbers look great, we can find similar cash flow numbers uh, with a very similar product for a much lower price, right? It's just simply overpriced uh, for where it's currently at. So folks, uh, Tim, Tina, let us know what you want to do. Let us know if you want to totally move on from the deal or if you want us to shoot out that low ball offer to them and, uh, you know, see if it works. But again, it likely won't. So let us know if you'd like us to move forward and start uh, putting together some other videos for you with other opportunities. Everybody else out there, if you're watching this show, um, I am sending this out on Holton Wise TV publicly for you all to watch, but I do it later. So this property, it's long gone. It's no longer available. I probably sent this to Tim and Tina <clears throat> many months ago, right? Later, when the dust settles, the property's off the market. That's when I release it publicly on Holton Wise TV for free for everybody to watch and learn. If you guys would like to work with me one-on-one, -on -one, have me and my team find you deals as well as analyze deals like this one that you've already found to make sure you don't overpay, right? Because this particular video just, just saved Tina and Tim about $40,000. You know, they made the smart choice uh, to trust but verify. You know, they look like they have a good deal on their hands, but it turns out the sucker's just way overpriced, right? So for a very minimal fee, they're able to get my knowledge, my resources, and I make sure I keep them out of bad deals, right? You don't want to find out it's a bad deal after you drop $100,000, right? Uh, so just like you get a home inspection inside the four walls, you need to look at these as businesses, right? Each of these homes is little businesses, and I handle outside of the four walls for you tell you if it's a good deal or not right so go to holtonwise.com property search for sale tab click the mls search analysis show order yourself a package and you could work with me in the same way tina and tim are that's all i've got for today's show folks thank you for sticking with me as always i'm james wise with holton wise and this is real estate investing made easy This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on our latest content, including video tours and analysis of investment properties that are available for sale, real estate investment education, and our most interesting encounters with tenants from hell. Holton Wise, real estate investing made easy.